government has issued new rules regarding old notes. Well, the deposit of old notes above 5,000 rupees can be made only once till December 30th. A valid explanation ought to be given as to why old notes had not already been deposited in the bank and there will be restrictions on non-KYC compliant accounts and only a maximum sum of 50,000 rupees can be deposited from here on. Deposits can be made up to a third party account on the basis of a valid authorization as well. So there you have it. There are more rules which are coming in for demonetization by the government. It is an evolving policy of the government. And now in the latest rule which is coming in, uh, it says that a deposit of 5,000 rupees is the maximum per account which is going to be allowed uh, till uh, the 30th of December, after which a valid explanation will have to be given as to why these notes were not deposited earlier. Well, the government has issued these new ro uh, rules now regarding the old notes, saying that the deposits 5,000 rupees can be made only once and after that if you want to deposit more than 5,000 rupees more than once then you'll have to give a valid explanation as to why they had not already been deposited well there will be restrictions remember especially on those who are non-KYC compliant accounts and only a maximum sum of 50,000 rupees if you want to deposit more than 50,000 rupees of old currency into your bank account it will not be allowed. So anything below 5,000 rupees will be allowed, but anything above 5,000 rupees, well, you'll have to give an explanation if you do it more than once. Of course, all of this will be allowed till the 30th of December. Remember, that is the deadline which has been issued by the government uh, for the demonetization. In fact, let's go across to our senior news editor, Saurabh Sanyal, who's joining us with more on this. Uh, Saurabh, it is an evolving policy, isn't it? And new guidelines now being released today. Well, that's right. In fact, this is the copy of the circular that has just been released by the Reserve Bank of India. And this is what, Meghna, we are talking about at this point in time. You can see that here the entire details have been spelled out regarding deposits that can be made into any account of an account holder. In fact, let me just run you through the key pointers which are there in this circular, Meghna. And you will see that it says that tenders uh, in excess of 5,000 rupees, as you were pointing out, into a bank account will be received for credit only once during the remaining period till December 30th. So this is the most crucial part of this entire story. Here you see tenders in excess of 5,000 rupees into a bank account will be received for credit only once during the remaining period till December 30th, 2016. So here the Reserve Bank is very, very clear in spelling out uh, what would be the norm going forward when it comes to deposits of cash in one's account. The circular Meghna further goes into to say that the credit in such cases shall be afforded only after questioning tenderer on record. So which means this is a move yet again by the Reserve Bank to ensure that there is full transparency in the system because here it says that the tenderer who is going to deposit the money may be questioned if this exceeds this particular amount. And it says that it, it will happen only in the presence of two officials of the bank as to why this could not be deposited earlier and receiving a satisfactory explanation. So uh, those who have deposited money in their account already, this is not applicable for them. Let me reiterate once again. But as you can see from the circular here, it clearly says it lays down the guidelines as to what guidelines have to be adhered to when it comes to depositing cash in one's own account. While uh, you, you have to now go and explain in case you have more than 5,000 rupee currency notes, you have to go and explain in the presence of bank officials, you have to give them an explanation as to why uh, uh, you know you still could not deposit this money and why you had held back to this money which you now want to deposit in your account. So uh, you know clearly the RBI tightening its news once again around depositors and here let's just uh, run through what are the other salient points over here. It says that the explanation should be kept on record to facilitate an audit at a, a later stage. So in case there is uh, any any questions are raised as to how come after this RBI circular, how come more money was deposited into one's account? So that should be recorded. It is not an informal chat that the tenderer will be having with the bank officials, but it would be documented properly and it would be kept in case uh, the, of audit objections. So an appropriate flag should also be raised uh, to the CBS to that effect, so that no more tenders are allowed. So the RBI tightening its news. Uh, you know, very, very strongly. So people who had Absolutely. thought that they would, uh, you know, uh, go to the banks uh, till December 30th and deposit old currency notes, this indeed has come as a shocker from them, Meghna. And in fact, this also goes on to talk about uh, tenders of up to 5,000 rupees in value received 
across the counter will be allowed to be credited to bank accounts in normal course until December 30th, even when tenders smaller than 5,000 rupees are made in an account and such tenders taken together on cumulative basis right. exceed 5,000, they may be subject to the procedure to be followed in case of tenders right. above 5,000. So the Reserve Bank of India spelling out. Well, in fact, we'll just come back to you. Thank you so much, Saurabh, coming in.